I'm back and I have a letter for the week and it is the lower case B. Now, this is one of my favorite letters because I used to love to play with something, well, two things. When I was a kid, this started with the letter B. I used to like to play with a bat and a ball. I had neighbors that had five boys and I had three brothers and we lived out in the country. So we played baseball all the time and I loved it. I was the only girl, but I got to be pretty good at it. So I really liked baseball. So I wanted to show you that so that you would remember. Sometimes a lowercase b can be confusing because everyone says, oh, it looks like a D. Well, if you think about how you make those letters, even though they look similar, they look kind of the same but flipped, if you always remember, lowercase d is drum and drumstick, and the drum comes first. That's that round magic C. With the lowercase b, the bat comes first. It is a diving letter, and it's a high diving letter. So you are going to start at the top for a high dive. You're gonna dive down, swim back up, over, and then guess what? The ball, because you go all the way around like a bat, and I always used to say a bouncy ball. So B, bat, and bouncy ball are going to be the things that we're gonna learn the sign for, okay? So I'm gonna put these down. Remember, you start up at the top. It's a high diving letter. So for the signs, what we're gonna do is, this is the sign for B. So your fingers are up and you just bend your thumbs in. So one of your hands is going to be the bat and it's going to make the B, B, B. The other hand is going to be the ball. So you're just making it round and you're gonna say B says B, B, bat and bouncy ball. So you get to hit your bouncy ball. So one more time with that, lower, not lowercase b, all b's say B, B, bat and a bouncy ball. Good job. Okay, uppercase B has two strokes. It's one that starts at the top and drops up at that smiley starting corner, and then it's a frog jump letter. You jump back to the top and you do your curve and your curve. Now, sometimes I think people get in a hurry when they get to this part of handwriting, and I wanna show you, do you see how I'm tracing, but I'm not being very careful? I'm in a big rush because people start to feel like they're really getting it. But the best way to practice is to take your time and really think about where you want the letters to touch. That one went a little bit over the top, so this time I'm really gonna try to stay inside of the house and not go outside and not be sloppy. So sometimes I think the slower you go, the more your brain and your hand learns how to print correctly. And there's my favorite uppercase B. The tracers were pretty sloppy. Okay, now lowercase B. Do you remember when we did diving letters? It dives. It dives down from the high dive just like H did, but when it swims around, it wants to go back to the wall. Dive down, swim up, all the way around. So it's high dive, dive down, turn around, get a breath, go all the way back to the wall. Dive down, swim up, over, and bump. Bat and a bouncy ball. Some of you might remember better if you say a bat and a bouncy ball. Some right, might remember if you say high dive, swim up, over, and bump. That's why I do a couple ways sometimes because everybody remembers things the way their own brain does. Now, don't get lazy and shrink and don't have that big gap there. See how that's messy and that's messy? 
take your time. There you go. That last one was a little crooked. Sorry about that. And my favorite lowercase b is right here.